Norfolk banker and not just a wanker. He's the best. This neighborhood banker has one request. You have thought you watch this video. Thumbs up and like. Hit subscribe and go. Your friendly neighborhood banker here, and today we are looking at the cover of Darkness by Source Point Press. And we have a really nice cover to the cover of Darkness. We got this pharaoh guy and this franken zombie and this werewolf thing and let's roll some credits and just a fair warning we do have spoilers here and basically this book is a story of two different stories that converge so one takes place in the past about this vampire and the servant and the other is about this gypsy family that's taking place at at least in this story's present so we have this introduction of this gypsy family and they seem really cool and they have like their own like I guess carnival thing going on. And we're introduced to the past in the Transylvanian Plateau. 200 years prior we have these two guys hanging out at what looks like a battlefield. Quiet you idiot, you wake the very, wait for the page. Wake the dead? Now that is a really nice grand entrance to our vampire now the curious thing about this book as you'll see is there's an odd dichotomy between the quality in my opinion the quality of the artwork that's presented in the past and the quality of the artwork that's presented in the present so you see here just as an example like this redhead now that's not particularly bad comic art but when you put it right next to something like this it kind of stands out. And, and what's weird in the past, in the present, there's almost like this amorphous background. It's like not quite fully flushed out. Whereas a lot of the background I find in the past storyline seems to work, whereas the present backgrounds don't really quite work. And it's unfortunate because you see, you have these like really clean things going on here. And look at this guy, the eyeballs popping out and battling our gypsy family, but the, the background is like kind of distracting and you're going to see some interesting things, but I got to say the story overall, this book is really fascinating. I definitely want to read the next issue and, so, yeah, and I'm going to show you why. We have this story of this guy named Vladimir and it's interesting that he becomes the servant of our vampire Orlok because you'd think oh well Vlad that's got to be the vampire's name no the vampire is named Orlok the servant is named Vladimir so right away it's it's an interesting dichotomy with the the Renfield like character being named after like the classic vampire so he's here sitting with this gal and she said, hey, it is Vladim Vladimir, never Vlad. Did you tell your father you were going to the market as I instructed? Yes, but why the secrecy? Secrecy. Your beauty is the last chain that holds me. I'm going to miss you. And he smashes her. God, look how horrifying that is. That is really good, horrifying work. And he brings her to his master. And what happens is Vlad is begging Orlok as his, you know, new faithful servant that he's been serving and feeding him over and over again, begging him to transform him into a vampire. And Orlok says, your loyalty has been unwavering, my boy. But what you ask for is more curse than reward. You will be consumed by hunger. And yes, master, I understand. I understand and welcome it. Very well, boy. Leave me to my meal. Arrangements for your replacement will be made. And God, what a sick shot that is. Like, that should be a poster and we get we go back to the present we see these two birds we've seen these birds before earlier in the book and you notice they have like this purple streak on their on their black feathers and we see them this is so cool how they transform into these people and you see you notice like you know the black fur became the hair and then they got the purple lines from the, the purple up here really nicely done now, again, you have this odd thing going on here, and it could be intentional. It could be intentional that they decided to have the work done in the present done in a slightly different almost rendering than the work done in the past. Because as you see, they'll, they'll converge and, it, you know, maybe it's like their way of illustrating 
without like narratives what's what's past uh what's present but you got this like amorphous background and maybe this would work if this was the art throughout the whole book but when you pit like i don't know something like this right next to that i mean this is a little harder for me to digest when you have it right next to something like this could just be me uh, or maybe they were looking to pull this off, but it almost feels like, yes, the artist maybe finished all the work in the past because that was fun. That's like the vampire work. And, you know, but we got a deadline, so we got to get this book out ASAP. I didn't quite finish rendering the stuff in the present because this almost feels like this could have been rough sketch or like, you know, next level sketch stuff, but it didn't like get finished before it had to go get published. I don't know, could just be just me. I'm curious to find any of your thoughts on it. Let's jump to our $50 marker here. This was really fun. We have this great scene with our gypsy family where this gal comes up. And look, look at those weapons she has. So cool and interesting. Almost look like psycho surgeon's tools. Boar, I saw a wild boar. Come quick, and we will eat well tonight. We have this beautiful profile shot of the, uh, like, gypsy mother. Good, I'm starving. Here, piggy piggy, and I swear, during this chase, I was like, damn, I could really go for, like, a pork sandwich or something. <laughs> now look over here as we go back to our past story. I'm just going to read this bit. I hunger, fly now, my, for my next meal. Again, Vladimir, you fed just last week. You'll stop this overindulgence. I'm starving, Orlok. I will wait no longer. I feel time creeping up on me. I age every moment I deny myself. Oh, God, look at this. What a beautiful, this, like, finger point here. It's just great. I command you to cease this self-obsessed extravagance. So it's interesting. When have you ever seen a vampire start changing his, like, Renfield-like character into another vampire? And the vampire's yelling at the young, at the up-and-comer because... This guy's crazier than he is. Really cool. And as we go on, we get back to this boar chase. The action here is so cool. It's like, yes, I I want that boar too. You got me into it. But again, we have this weird thing where they have these really cool scene of werewolves, but it's so weird, right? Like the werewolves are so like cleanly rendered. And finished, and you get this. This doesn't have that level of detail, and it's in the same panel now. And again, it's possible that's intentional, where like, oh, the dark stuff we've been seeing is done in a different art ish style. Whereas the present stuff, now the Gypsy family's art style, that's all in the same panel. And it, ideally, I get where you might be going with this, but I don't think the execution was quite there on it. Now, I gotta show you this $100 page. Holy Lord. Just look at this. Look at the artwork here. His hands coming out of the panel. These creepy white eyes. And look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Like that hand coming out over this. That is, that is just superb. Look, I'm gonna get the next issue even though I have a little mixed feelings about the art, because I, the story itself, I really need to know what happens next. So I am going to pick it up and, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe the art, that present thing was like a one-off just for this to get it out on time. But I mean, either way, I'm going to give them my money for issue two. Thank you for the video view. But don't stop now, watch a few, and if you like the content, please leave a comment. Do me the favor, please let me be your neighbor, Hood Banker.